In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a metal button. So first thing you need to do is to create a new document. Go to File, and then New, and I'm going to name this Metal Button. And you can make it whatever size you want. We basically need a background to hold the button. So I'm going to go ahead and make it 450 by 450, and I'm going to choose a white background. Click OK. And now we want to draw our button. We want to select the rounded rectangle tool to do this. So select the rounded rectangle tool. And then you also want to pick a color to use. Since this is metal, we're going to select a gray color. So click on your color well. And then in the color picker, you want to choose a gray color. The lighter the gray color, um, the lighter the brushed metal is going to appear to be, or you can make a darker metal if you want. So pick a color of gray that you like and click OK. And then go, ha go ahead and draw out your button with your mouse and make it whatever size you'd like to use for whatever application you're using it for. Release it. And I have several options that I've applied to this. Let me show you these. Go ahead and double click on your layer and I have an inner shadow that I've added and you want to use the blend mode of color dodge you want to set the opacity to around 50 percent the angle at 120 um, keep the choke at zero and put the distance um, for seven and the size for seven and then you want to have zero noise and the default contour is fine on this now your inner glow Go ahead and choose the screen blend mode. Have the opacity. Let's go ahead and change that to 70%. The noise at zero. Go ahead and make sure it's your regular linear gradient and that you have the color black for the glow. You can, or you can also choose a gray if you'd like. Um, you want to have a softer element, the choke at six, the size at 11. Um, and then the contour set to the default as well, the range at 68 and the zero for your jitter. You're going to also add a gradient overlay, and you're going to have the opacity at 70% here. You're going to have your default granular, linear style. Choose 90% angle, and then go ahead and increase your scale all the way to 150%, and that's set up blend mode of normal. We're also going to add a stroke to the outside. We just want a very thin line around here. If you'd rather not have a line around your button, then you'd, you could just simply skip this part. I'm going to set it for 1 as my pixel. I want it to be an inside um, stroke, blend mode normal. The opacity is going to be 100%. And once again, go ahead and choose a gray color or choose a black color filled with that color. OK, go ahead and click on OK. And those are the settings that will be applied to your button. Now, um, this is a nice metal button. You could go ahead and use it like this, or you could turn it in to get a slightly more brushed metal look, which I'm going to go ahead and do. Go to Filter, and then go to Noise, and then Add Noise. Um, go ahead and click OK, um, saying that you're going to resaturize the shape. That's fine. Now you want to choose um, just a slight amount of noise. If you go too high, it's going to get real noisy, but I'm going to stick, I think, around 6%. Make sure it's Gaussian and make sure that it's monochromatic. Click on OK. And then one more filter. We're going to go to Filter and then Blur and then Motion Blur. And we're going to go ahead and set this angle to be 5, although you can set it to whatever you want, and this is just basically the angle that the blur is going to go across. I'm going to go ahead and stick with 13. And then the distance of the preview, you can see the distance this is going to make. We're going to choose a very short distance here. I'm going to choose 3, and then click on OK, and then we'll deselect it. And you can see that you have a nice brushed metal button. 